Happy Friday, True Sport. Welcome back for another set of tips from our experts as we try to figure out how to get through this isolation period together without too many hiccups. Uh, I will be super honest. I was feeling pretty great about how this was going. My kids have been home. This is the end of week two. I was feeling like we had a little honeymoon period. It was going great. And then I realized that real life is fixing to hit us next week. They've been on spring break all this week and uh, about 2 a.m. Uh, last night I woke up and had sort of one of those panic wake ups where I realized I, I do not have this under control. I don't even kind of have this under control. What am I gonna do next week? And at that point I was super grateful for the fact that one of our mental health experts, um, Dr. Kevin Chapman, who actually specializes in the field of anxiety, had just given us some terrific information that he has listed as how to fight COVID-19. I love a good acronym and I appreciate him so much for this, but his acronym, um, and I'm gonna look at my notes so I don't get it wrong, but the F in fight is to focus on what you can control. And we know there's a lot that we don't control right now, but to focus on what we can control. That moves us into the I, which is to identify negative thoughts. So as you realize you've got stuff that's going wrong, it's just really off the rails, identifying those negative thoughts helps us move into the G, which is to generate alternative thoughts. So how do we change our thought patterns? How do we address those concerns in that way? Um, moves us into the H, which is to highlight adaptive behaviors. And then finally, T, teach someone the same. So those particular steps got me through my sleepless night last night, and I'm hopeful that that will be helpful to you and to your kids as you uh, navigate what's coming up. I know many of us are moving into a period of time where we've got a lot to figure out and we'll just have to lean on each other and continue to look for great information to support ourselves and, and others as we get through it. So let us know if that's helpful for you. We look forward to bringing you more tips as we get them um, and, and hope you're safe and well and continue to take care of your families and yourselves. And we'll be back in touch soon. Take care.